With this video, we are going to demonstrate the valuable location-based features that make PTT Plus Dispatch such an important team management and collaboration tool. When you log into PTT Plus Dispatch, the map will pull up automatically. With it, you can track the location of all members in a talk group or individuals. If you were tracking the location of anyone when you last logged out of Dispatch, the tracking will resume once you log back in. To locate an individual on the map, go to the Contacts pane. You can tell if a user's location is currently available if the navigation icon to the left of their name is green. If their icon is red, they could have turned their location off on their device or be out of GPS range. If a user is not logged into PTT+, they will not be broadcasting their location. To the right of the individual's name, select the navigation pointer icon. That user's location now appears on the map. You can do the same thing to view the location of all of the members of a talk group. Now you can see the locations of all members of the TAC1 talk group. Once you begin tracking anyone's location, a window pops up showing the contacts, talk groups, and personal ad hoc talk groups that are currently being tracked. When you have a contact or talk group selected, you can also initiate a call, send an instant personal alert to an individual, share multimedia, perform a one-time refresh, and start or stop periodic location refreshes. You can do the same things with an individual contact by selecting their icon on the map. By doing this, you can also see more information about that user, including their phone number, location address, exact latitude and longitude, location refresh times, and the talk groups they are members of. You can see that you can also initiate calls or other activities with this user from the pop-up box. PTT Plus Dispatch goes well beyond just locating PTT Plus users. There are different location capabilities that you can navigate to from the map pane's various tabs. To the right of the map tab is the location history tab. Here, you can track up to three users' locations over a period of time for up to 30 days in the past. To view location history, set the day and time intervals to start and stop the history. This time period cannot exceed 24 hours. Filter the individuals you will select from by talk group if needed, and select up to three PTT Plus users to track. Now you are ready to see their location history on the map. You can play an individual's location from start to finish from this pop-up window. The green dot indicates the location at the start of the tracking period, and the red dot represents the end. Select the location along the breadcrumb trail to see information about that specific location, including latitude and longitude, and the exact time the user was there. You can also download a Microsoft Excel CSV file with detailed latitude and longitude at specific times during the interval you tracked. To start over, refresh the location history. The next tab over is for geofencing. A geofence allows the dispatcher and PTT Plus supervisors to receive notifications when group members enter or exit a geographic area. To set a temporary geofence for a talk group, select and right click on that talk group within the contacts pane. From the drop down window, select Add Geofence and move the map to the center of the circular geofence you want to create. Click on the Create a Geofence icon located in the upper left of the map. Drag the anchor points to change the size of the monitored zone. Once you are happy with the geofence you've created, click on Confirm Geofence, and a dialog box opens that you can use to name the geofence, change the location update interval, set the period of time to monitor the talk group, and customize notifications. You'll notice that a geofence is temporary and can be active for up to seven days. You can also save a geofence as a favorite for easy access to renew it. Once you've set up your geofence, you can view geofence notifications in the alert window at the lower left. If you have multiple geofences active, they will be listed across the top of the map window, where you can select a geofence to view it, edit the geofence, or delete it. One additional geofence feature can be accessed through the Logs tab in the map pane. This is where you can view and download a log of events for a specific geofence. The log can be set to show geofence entries, exits, or both. It also provides snapshots that allow you to see where a driver went after they left the geofence. A final location feature we'll cover here are area-based talk groups. These are dynamic location-based talk groups that automatically add and remove group members based on whether they enter or leave a specific geographic area that you as the dispatcher defined. To create an area-based talk group, select the Talk Group tab in the map pane, followed by the plus icon that appears in the upper right of the map. 
Search the map for where you want the center of the area to be and adjust the size of the area, similar to how we did with the geofence we just created. Add a name for this talk group, select members, and select OK. By default, each member will be dynamic, meaning they will only be a part of that talk group when they are located in the defined area. However, we can make one or more of these individuals a static talk group member that is always part of that talk group regardless of their location. To do this, select one or more users that you want to change. Right-click on them and select Set as a Static Member. As the dispatcher who created this area-based talk group, you can also set one or more talk group members as a supervisor so that they can have talker priority in the talk group and can take over the floor by pressing their PTT Plus button. Now that the area-based talk group has been established, you can see it under the Area Talk Groups tab in the Contacts pane where you can initiate activity with this talk group. Thanks for taking the time to learn about location services in the PTT Plus Dispatch solution.